on with Dr. Flu going over an air and fire restoration typically used when a fireplace opening does not meet the required ratio for flue size to fireplace opening. Uh, that is dependent on the size and shape of the flue. Uh, this is a masonry firebox with a, a cast iron fire back. Um, we start this process by demolition of the existing firebox. This would be the same if you have a steel heat form firebox as well, uh, but the existing firebox comes out the uh, old smoke chamber is thoroughly cleaned and uh, rebuilt if completely needed. This particular one already had a smoke chamber which was pretty smooth. We then come in and we start the initial parge coat um, up to the lining system. So you can see our stainless steel lining system at the top which would not meet the required ratio of 12 to 1 because it is round with the fireplace opening. Um, at the lentil, this is looking up through the opening, so this bar here is the steel lentil at the front of the fireplace. Then we add a steel support beam here behind that lentil to hold an inch and a half thick of parge coat, which is chamber tech. We then start to smooth that out to make it much more conducive to flow. And then pre-cast, uh, very thick, um, refractory panels go in. Um, a stainless steel floor gets secured with insulation pad underneath it. The side panels and back wall have an inch ceramic wool blanket with a foil radiation shield behind them. Those go in place. And then once those are in place, behind this panel, so this is our back wall as it slopes up, we can see our insulation here. The parge coat on the smoke chamber then gets blended in. However, behind these panels and its insulation blanket, also gets liquid um, liquid or mixed insulation dumped and filled in behind those walls. We then have another panel here at the front on both sides and you can kind of see our insulation mix showing out at the sides there. Here we go. Um, photo of the insulation mix in place. So the, the new um, firebox shell is completely uh, cemented if you will in place out of insulation. The flue itself showing a lining and then looking up from here you can kind of see how this back wall, this is our back wall, how this bows and they do this for how conducive the firebox itself is for flow. But if you'll notice this parge coat being very very smooth and everything funneling the smoke up to the new flue lining. So the floor, here's our stainless steel panel, insulation pad goes around. Um, if I can get closer. Now this particular one had a gas starter pipe that is not typical. It is allowed in an air and fire but it is not a typical installation. Normally there would not be a fireplace grate in place and you would have fire directly on these four nubs on the floor. This is a removable cast iron front grate. Its legs come down into two little points that you can take this off and then simply use a fireplace uh, shovel and go in between each of these nubs to remove your ashes. Um, here's a different project also um, for an air and fire, same thing with the floor, but this one shows our insulation pad a little bit better and kind of how they go in place. This is going to be a more typical installation, but same thing, um, very conducive to flow and the smoke chamber. This back rounded wall then gets blended in with the smoke chamber with the same type of rounding. And then our front side, which is called the breast side, also gets rounded backwards. And then this would be the typical finish. So we would have our four nubs for fire, uh, for our logs to sit on, and then we'd have our cast iron grate in the front. Typical top mount damper. Same thing that we would want this to be open so that it doesn't get stuck into uh, the new firebox or the smoke chamber parge coat. So we're going to leave this damper open for about 48 hours after installation and until that smoke chamber has hardened. Matter of fact, I think you can even read here, don't close for 48 hours on the damper. So this is our typical air and fire restoration for fireplaces that are too large for their flue or a fireplace that someone wants a little bit more heat out of or is where uh, efficiency is important to them.